you know why we celebrate Halloween? Long, long time ago, it was a night of great power. When the days grew short, and the spirits of the dead returned to their homes to warm themselves by the fireside. All across the land, huge bonfires were lit, hoping to ward off the evil spirits, especially the boogeyman. For six years, the town of Haddonfield has tried to forget. They believed Michael Myers was dead. Michael Myers is long gone. There is no boogeyman. But now he's come back, and the secret behind his murderous ways will be revealed. You can't have the baby, Michael. You can't have the baby. Michael Myers has come back to Haddonfield. To kill. From Dimension Films comes the return of pure evil. Halloween, the curse of Michael Myers. Uh, Tommy! Evil. Pure. Uncorrupted. Legend. Among the most successful series of horror films in history... Halloween has always kept its finger on the pulse of true fear and again brings terror to life. What I try to do with Halloween is go sort of go back to giving it a sense of style and giving the whole movie a sense of air of menace. It's just the way it's put together and it's all psychological and so to me it's a very scary thing. The late veteran actor Donald Pleasance returns for his last role as Dr. Loomis, the character he created for the Halloween series. He's in retirement living in a cottage way in the depths of the country. I hear little uh, Jamie crying for help. Help me, Dr. Loomis, are you out there? Michael. Michael Myers. And so I go out into the night in search of Michael Myers. Fresh from the hit film Clueless, Paul Rudd is Tommy Doyle, a character with a special link to the Halloween legacy. My character, Tommy, uh, comes from the first film. And Jamie Lee Curtis was babysitting this little kid. Tommy. Tommy Doyle. Tommy Doyle. I was only eight years old when I saw him. And I was one of the lucky ones. I survived. In the role of Kara, Marianne Hagen must protect her young son from Michael's murderous instincts. Evil is lurking, and it is there, and sometimes you see it, and sometimes you don't, but it can get you. But not you. They'll come back here. This house is sacred to him. He has all his memories here. His rage, it grew inside him. Contaminating his soul. John, something terrible has happened. He's come in the room. He's behind her. She doesn't see him. And he told me about the terrible things that happened here in our house. That whole scene gives me goosebumps. I mean, it's so scary. The success of the Halloween series is based on the whole Michael Myers character, which is, you know, he is the boogeyman. You can't talk to him. You can't deal with him. He just wants to get you. 